Hey guys, this is the Trendy Socialite. I decided to do a style inspired by the lovely Octavia Spencer and the style she wore to the Oscars. You're going to need water, ouchless bands, bobby pins, a gel of your choosing, rat tail comb, and brushes for parting and smoothing. Since I didn't moisturize my hair the night before, I decided to do a quick lock with ease method. You can find the link to that particular video in the description box below. Next you are going to use the end of the rat tail comb to part out the front bang that will be smoothed into sort of a swoopy bang. You can actually do this part diagonally or a zigzag if you'd like to add a little bit more jazz to it. I just did it straight across um, for ease of styling for this particular video. I'm moisturizing this section separately and twisting it to get it out of the way while I work on the other two sections of hair. The next section is the hump that's at the crown of your hair. You do not need to worry too much about parting or making the section really big. Any parts won't show by the time you smooth your hair and put the um, hump in place. And you don't need a very large section of hair to do this part either. And I'm moisturizing this section separately as well and will clip it out of the way while I work on the ponytail bun. In order to get um, maximum use of the bun, I am taking my Denman to sort of stretch the hair a little bit and then taking another brush to begin smoothing it over to the side to create the ponytail bun. Next you're going to work on the hump. It took me a couple of tries to really get it the size and the shape that I wanted it. Once you get it um, looking the way you'd like, you just pin it in place. I also re-secured the ponytail to include the left out hair of the hump so that it would be as smooth as possible. Next 
next you're going to work on the bang part that will be smoothed down for a swoop effect. I'm detangling with the Denman and I'm going to moisturize that section separately. Then I'm going to take the brush and begin to smooth that section. It, take, it can take a little bit of coaxing and smooth, uh, quite a bit of smoothing, but once you get it the way you like it, then you will just simply pin the end in place. Don't worry too much about the ends because <clears throat> you'll actually cover that up. So now what I'm doing is getting ready to set the hair. I take a mixture of a shea butter mix from Afaya LLC with my gel and begin to smooth it over the ponytail part. It adds moisture as well as sets it. And then I just smooth over the hump, not trying to disturb it too much. Taking some gel on the edges to get those nice and smooth. The key to this style is the sleekness of it. So I would advise some gel. If Eco Styler is too hard for you, I would definitely use an aloe vera gel and then set it with your scarf, which I'm getting ready to do in just a minute. Um, so I'm taking the brush now and smoothing that, just smoothing the hair so it can be as sleek as possible. I did repin the hump after smoothing it a little bit more once I smoothed the ponytail part. Now I'm taking some gel and just adding that to the front to get that to lay smooth as much as possible and smoothing it again with a brush to distribute the product throughout. While I shower and get dressed, I'm going to allow my hair to set by tying it up with a scarf. All right, I'm back and I'm dressed. So you have the option to do two things with the ponytail bun at this point. The first thing you can do is a kind of that sock bun look where you fan out the hair in the center and then you begin to twist all, all of the way around and then pin in place. And that will give you a little bit of that sock bun, ballerina bun, but I chose to wear it as a Cinna bun. So when you do that, I'm just moisturizing just a little bit. And then you take the different sections, like you do a Cinnabon, twist the ends, and pin them in place.
there you have it now I'm going to take a little oil spray it in my hand this oil is very very thick so I spray it in my hand so it doesn't concentrate in one area and then gently smooth it over the style to add some sheen to your style there you go I love the sleekness of the style and the ease of it I think it's a great style for formal occasions I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below as always take care and be blessed bye